What's on with it? This your brother. This your boy, Young Mar TV. And we're back, 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 back with another video. Man. So this time we got the biggest anime crash out by a new by a new YouTuber that I never reacted to yet. Um called the Bucket. I wanna make I don't wanna get your name wrong, man. Bucket has splash, man. You know, bro got 139k uh subscribers, man. So I know this is gonna be good, bro. Y'all supporting him, bro. So hopefully y'all can support me too, man. But this video is the biggest anime crash out, man. So if you don't know what this is, the, the picture that's showing right now, that's, I'm pretty sure that's Bakugan, man. If you don't know Bakugan, probably one of the best characters on My Hero. Um, I'm not all the way caught up, but from what I know, man, he always been a real, real good character, bro. But yeah, the biggest crash outs, man, they got they gotta have a lot, man. Oh, they gotta have a lot, bro. Um. I can't think of no other ones right now, but I know once I start watching the video, they will have some characters that I, I that I think is you know real crash out dummies. But enough talking, I'm talking too much. Let's get in it. Okay, Luffy. Okay, you know your school. I didn't see the first one. Crash out. A damn crash out. Now you <laughs> probably heard this term a lot, especially recently. For example, someone might say, Hey yo, Usher was holding my girl like this. I'm about to crash out. Or if mm. I find out that someone thinks one piece is trash, I'm like, hey yo, you think one piece is trash? I'm about to crash out. Then I just That's go with RKO the You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. You probably I made it thinking one piece is trash heard the word crash out in ways similar to those some mm -hmm. of you know what it means but some of you might not so you're probably wondering I definitely what's know, a, crash out? a crash out is basically what someone turns into when they get so mad that they don't care about life they don't care about nothing they just want smoke extreme mm -hmm. level crash outs don't even have to get mad they just naturally don't care about their life they just want violence <laughs> and malice. anime does have a good yeah man general amount of crash outs some hey. crash outs can be evil a real crash out don't care bro shout out to luffy man they see showing Luffy right now. Luffy is the definition of a crash out, cause he crashed out for his friends. He crashed out for the people he you know, he cared about. They don't even have to be his friends. If he cared about that person, he's going to crash out. Some crash outs are really evil, but the common trait between all crash outs, evil or non-evil, is mm -hmm. that once they're in that mode, they don't care about nothing else but violence. And if you want the receiving <laughs> end of that, then you might be cooked. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the most wild crash outs in all of anime. Let's go. You can tell these people we take here, pleasure man. in being a crash out. Like Bakugo from My Hero Academia, yep. you can tell bro loves Always. Being a crash out. In My Hero Academia, he's a hero or someone working to become a hero. But don't let that fool you. He cares very little about his well-being whatsoever he just wants smoke he lives to fight if bro couldn't fight he probably crazy. become depressed how do i know this because he's always angry golly every time you see bro on the screen he's always hey i gotta i gotta point a condition like i feel like uh i feel like uh the reason that he's always you know he got that much energy because bro he wanted bad bro like out of like, my hero academic yeah that could want it bad, like he wanted that his power bad, but I feel like this guy here, bro, he's the Bakugan is the real, like, he put everything behind everything, bro. And I, I love that, bro. You know, he's not just a villain, he's like he's the like he could easily be an anti-hero. He's tight at something, at someone for some reason. Bro's either yelling at Deku or someone else from his class or his mm. mom or the world. I don't know how bro's throat doesn't hurt. Pause. Hey yo, what the fuck? Hey yo. He just always wants beef with yeah. somebody. We ain't never ducking beef, bitch. We not vegan. Polo G. Bakugo suspected Deku <laughs> of having all might. The greatest hero of all time is power. He does. So bro was mm. like, damn, my idol recognized you, but not me. I'm about to crash out. So then, just like that, they started fighting. <laughs> I low-key forgot where they're fighting at but i know it takes place at some those are good fight too the school owns because they're a part of a school a hero every, school, every time they fought it was a good uh, good battle 
Amy. In other words, they should not be fighting there. But one thing about Crash House is that they don't care where they're fighting at. If they want to fight, they're going to fight. That's why it's very Thanks. important to steer clear of Crash House because if you look at one the wrong way, you're going to end up fighting in a church. They kept fighting <laughs> and the fight was some heat. Bakugo was expressing his emotions mid fight. Didn't make him any less of a Crash Out though. Bro was still screaming in my ear trying to end Deku's life. Now for this next thing I'm going to talk about, he isn't really a Crash Out for this, but he's low key a Crash Out for this. Bro was in a sports festival at a superhero school. Let's go, Kyrie. The final part of the festival was a fighting tournament, a perfect place for a crash okay. out to release all their energy and malice. In his last fight to win, his opponent didn't go 100%, so he felt cheated that he won. Yeah. That's understandable. But immediately after bro won, they had to sleep, bro, so he wouldn't start tweaking out. Man, yeah, was... because that was such a lame way to... Let's not talk about that, man. It was a lame way for, for them to end that fight. You know what I mean? Shots to Koreas. You know, they didn't want to let one person officially be the other. You know how that goes. Bro woke up. He was muzzled and handcuffed and chained. <laughs> I was getting muzzled and chained like to a, a pit wall so you don't crash out is crazy. Next person. The next crash out we got is from Bleach. For me saying Bleach, you probably already know who it is. Kenpachi mm. Zeraki. My Kenpachi boy. is the only person on this list you can look at and already if you know, crash out. This has been my favorite character. Way before all this new, like, you know, way, way before the manga and, you know, all this other stuff got animated. This has been one of my favorite characters, if not top, top three, top two, top three. Um, I forgot the cat, the, um, the, the cat girl, you know, the, the queen, the queen cat girl, man. Y'all you, you know who I'm talking about, man. Yorishi or something? I might be wrong. Like, bro, him. what is this hairstyle? What was he cooking? He was not cooking. He looks like he him and top two. Another sign of a crash out. If you're ever walking outside and see someone walking with the Arby's bag, just know. Mm. What's their slogan? We have the meats? Yeah, there's no way you can Pulse. watch your life if you eat food from a restaurant with a slogan <laughs> like that. Arby's and like, anyway. Kenpachi is just not right mm. in the head. Like Bakugo, his sole purpose in life is to fight. That's it. He may want to be a hero <laughs> as well, but really, he just wants to fight. Unlike Bakugo, Go though, Kenpachi might be sadistic. When oh, he is for sure. Go, the amount of glee that was shown sure. on his face was kind of nuts. The fight that boy's a wild boy Go got W keyed by Kenpachi. Kenpachi was like, nah, this dude sucks, and opened up his chest so Ichigo could get a free shot with his sword, his sharp sword. Ichigo mm -hmm. took that opportunity and bro did no damage. Then mid Quickie. fight, when Ichigo finally got strong enough to do some damage to bro, oh. Kenpachi was smiling while getting Let's go. He was like genuinely enjoying being in pain also when the fight ichigo guys punching in the chest like four times he stepped back and started laughing it off another Move. major ah, sign ah, of a ah, crash ah. out if you're fighting someone and they start laughing and smiling right like inflicting on them gg i'm not gonna lie at that point you're face to face with an s tier crash out if you're not the main character you're gonna be cooked it's here for ichigo sure was like hey bro why are you not in pain when i cut you kenpachi was like what do you mean how could you not relish in and enjoy the pain hey man let him a crash out could be a crash out. Don't you can't tell a crash out how to crash out. Cause he's just gonna crash out. That comes with battle. Uh -huh. It's magnificent. I love it. <laughs> What? <laughs> just one of those dudes you look at and you just say, damn, what the f A good day for Kenpachi means his life almost ends like five times. In fact, almost Wasted. every time bro fights, he puts restraints on himself so he can enjoy the fight more because he's too mm. strong. Like this eye patch, he wears it to make it harder for him to fight. Not only does it make bro only piece, bro. from one eye, it also suppresses his full power. And then bro also has bells in his ears. So he season. pulls up on you, you hear him coming. So basically bro pulls up to life or death battles, not trying, Ooh. just so he can see what it feels like to almost get cooked. Clearly, fight, bro fight. takes being the crash out very seriously. In fact, the only reason why bro's name is even Ken Pachi is because he is a <laughs> crash out. And all oh, my boy, um, what's his name, man? Man, y'all know, y'all, they just showed a clip of him, but y'all know he is, man. Now, that's a crash out, man. That shows history. There were 11 different Ken Pachis. This Ken Pachi is the 11th one. The Ken Pachi name mm. is passed down from crash out to crash out. It's kind of beautiful. <laughs> so if I ever get the she busy right now, little bro, text, I'm going to become the 12th Ken Pachi. The next crash out I'm going to okay. talk about would definitely have to be Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy. The main reason why Luffy was able to go from a Big regular Luffy, pirate man. to one of the strongest pirates in the entire show was because he's a crash out. Luffy Big may facts. not be as mentally, emotionally, and neurologically insane as Ken Pachi, but he's definitely still mentally emotional. Bro, I hope they bring up uh, Gong, bro. 
Cause going and killer will, will soon crash our kids. You know, the, from the, the way bro doesn't even think twice about invading the most heavily guarded prison in One Piece is kinda nuts. I get mm. bro's brother got captured and he wanted to save bro, but like damn, not even a second thought. Not even a oof, I don't know, man. That's gonna <laughs> go down. Nah. Bro just snuck in, tapped him with buggy, tapped him with this dude, tapped him with Bon Clay, mm. got sheets by a poison man named Magellan, got revived by a person named Ivankov mm. W Mans. Once bro finally got to Ace's so guess what ace was not there so him ivankov jimbe and like mad other people escaped the prison went to marine 4 where ace was being held marine 4 became a battlefield luffy mm. then proceeds to dive head first into said battlefield Dang, man. Mad so everyone can know he's there the strongest you remember this you remember this bro happens to be there because top tier ace too so you want to know what luffy does luffy not even close to as strong as bro wants to say some hey, you white beard first of all that beard isn't even a beard Goofy. Second of all, I'm gonna <laughs> be the king of the pirates, not you, and I'm saving a slay man. Third of all, take that do rag off. You are not wavy. You're 70 years old. You are bald. Lastly, suck my dick. Hey, say all that. You can't be this. Yeah, you can't be disrespecting the big white beard like that, man. OG white beard, man. OG double triple OG triple OG double, that, double, I mean, double triple OG white beard, bro. Like one fourth of that, with no fear in his heart. Everyone on that battlefield was shocked. Some call it dog. Some call it being a crash out. I call it both. Mainly being a crash out though, but it's both. Either way though, bro did end up saving Ace until he did it. No. Luffy also mm -hmm. went and punched a whole celestial dragon. In One Piece, that's like the most crash out thing you could do. It was for a good cause though his mans got shot by a celestial dragon to be honest i don't even blame bro for doing it sometimes you gotta crash out i'm not gonna lie in my past videos i have said luffy is a dog he is also a crash out there is a difference dogs think about their well-being and the consequences before they do something crash out, <laughs> they, all, they just do sometimes at all luffy no thinking bro it's just crash bro blam 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 bam you know they take charge Thinks sometimes he does. Hey, if you know Luffy, Luffy always got to take a charge because he always doing some crash out dummy mission. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm not gonna need my crew for a little bit. I ain't going I don't want my crew to really get that hurt, you know. So the final crash out that will be discussed is none other than okay. Ruben Sukunda from JJK. I feel this was so a good crash out, but they should have brought up Hunter X Hunter, man. If you make a part two, bro, you gotta put that Hunter X Hunter, Hunter X Hunter, you know. You gotta put, you gotta put Gong and goddamn kill away in there. Bad for Itadori for having Sukuna in him. <laughs> Wait, pause. Pause. Sukuna no is diddy. someone who only exists to create destruction. There is absolutely mm. no good in bro whatsoever. He's a pure crash out, 99 overall, all the badges. Crashing out is the only joy in his life. Ta. The first thing that came to bro's mind when Itadori ate his finger and Sukuna came to the surface was to crash out. Then bro got cooked by Gojo and then Itadori could control of his body back. But you saw the way bro mm. was looking out into the distance when he came back. Oh no. Nah. Throughout the show when Sukuna would take control of Itadori's body, he would bring absolutely zero good to anybody he was cooking megumi very badly like extremely badly when bro fought jogo i don't even like jogo but i feel sorry for jogo jogo was getting worked that whole time he did not stay in no chance sukuna face palm jogo through a whole skyscraper with a smile on his face i'd be sick crash okay. love seeing another person in pain so you're already know what's if you know sukuna man he just loved it, bro. He loved he loved this man. He loved the game, man. He loved the game more than the the outcome. Like, and I'm not caught up all the way either. But from what I know of, he loved the game, man. Like he gave this guy a chance just so he could he can keep crashing out. The more he crash out, the more he care he crash out. So the more um the the volcano head dude crash out, the more that Sukuna wanted to crash out in uh, Ikidori Ikidori body. So yeah, man, it's it's crazy, bro. Yeah, man, I'm talking so much. Let's get back in there having a top 15 day of his life also i ain't even mentioned for real but jogo is a crash out too but was in Thanks. a restaurant and burned the whole restaurant for absolutely no reason i remember whatsoever. that then bro voluntarily went and out then of they try to go ahead and give him backstory you know and the backstory is good but it's not what will come out of people he killed he was smoking on brains and doing the most bro of his own way to go fight the strongest sorcerer in the show and was surprised mm -hmm. that he was getting worked so yeah he's a crash out so really yep. sukuna versus jogo was a crash out versus crash out fight in the fight jogo brought down a meteor to defeat sukuna it did not work jogo got torched. Ah! the flame guy got torched by even stronger flame emperor 
I guess Sukuna was just a better crash out. Then when bro went to fight Maharaga, why Maharaga mm -hmm. look like this? Maharaga put up more of a fight than Dogo, but Maharaga still got that was a good, that was a good fight. The malevolent kitchen in the aftermath from that attack left a massive hole in Shibuya. Bro destroyed all. Man, is it is the anime out yet? The new uh, season. All those buildings, killing all those people. This whole honestly is like symbolic for how much of a crash out Sukuna is. Then bro mm. purposely released control of Itadori's body so Itadori could look at what Sukuna did with his body. Bro got so sad and traumatized. Damn. One day That's Itadori wild, bro, because he remember like then he gave him like all the memories. Get his get back on Sukuna. I don't Hear know how he gotta find a way. But yeah, Bakugo, Kenpachi, Luffy, and Sukuna are all crash outs. Sukuna's definitely That's facts. the serious crash out though. I'm not gonna lie. They all but crash that outs. Is the video. Follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, get me to 2K so I can do a face reveal. Shout out, my man. Discord, link in the description and drink lemonade. Almost forgot. Subscribe and shout out, man. Shout out to that boy Bucket Hat, man. Splash. Bro, good build, man. I can't wait to check out some more your videos, bro. It was good, man. These are some good crash outs. I can't wait to see the. Uh, if you never made a number two, man, if you make a number three, make a number four. You got to put that honey as honey in that, man. You got to put going and killer, bro. They the definition of crash out. You know how going was crashing out. Killer was ready to crash out for going. Whenever. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. Enough talking, man. It was a good video. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like I see you on the goddamn page. This your brother, your boy, MRTV. And guess what? YM out.